Okay, my friends, today's key end times news headline that's pointing towards the rapture that I see is very vital as uh, prophetic is the huge uptick of sodomite boldness and bad behavior and activity. I saw in the news today where a street preacher was in Seattle at a, a huge sodomite gathering. All he had was a sign that said uh, they need to repent and turn to Jesus and the sodomites uh, pummeled him. They started punching him in the back of the head, ganged up on him, started breaking his sign, started trying to hurt him, started trying to rough him up real bad. <coughs> Excuse me. And they're getting bold, just like in Sodom and Gomorrah when they were trying to come and attack Lot and uh, the angels who had visited and um, at his home. And it, it's, starting to, it's starting to get crazy. You know, at first they said they just want to have peace. They want to be able to to uh, live their lifestyle, which is against the Bible, against what God says, against uh, what is uh, what God believes is is good. Uh, it's, it's a sin to be a sodomite in God's eyes, and no sodomites will step foot into heaven. It's God's word. It's not mine. But it's spreading like wildfire now. Uh, they're once this right happens, they want the next right. And once that, when they get that, that right, they want the next right. They're infiltrating the scouts. They're infiltrating all different countries. Uh, since our illustrious leader made us a sodomite nation last year, there's been 14 other countries that have become sodomite nations just because we have. And uh, it's just getting crazy. It's getting just insane. And all the various offshoots as well. They don't have the, the bathrooms now. Uh, anyone can use restrooms any, or, and showers. Uh, in California, anywhere that you want to, uh, with whatever sex that you identify with, if you're, they do that to protect the, um, the transvestites and the transsexuals, the crossdressers. The sodomite agenda is everywhere, my friends, from the president on down. And I, I know that our president uh, is a, a sodomite as well. He's a, his uh, whole family is just a front for his true lifestyle, and it, it's ridiculous. It, it's really sad to see. What the country's becoming. You know, the thing about it is, is, is I love all people. I really do. I love anyone. I don't care who they are, what their sin is, I love them. And I love all sodomites. I just do not agree with their lifestyle. I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to go along with it. I'm not going to be like everyone in the emperor's new clothes and say, wow, this is really cool. I'll be like the one kid that says, no, this is not right. This is not right. And I'm, not, and I'm, I'm just not going to side with it. But understand, though, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the return of the Son of Man. Jesus Christ is about to break the skies, my friends, and come back and rapture us, take us home. This is a huge sign. The days of Noah, Sodomites were everywhere. There was all kinds of sexual perversion, all kinds of sexual filth and, and disease and just breakdown of God's of order of the way he created man and woman to be married and then to reproduce together. Sodomites can't reproduce. The whole thing is just bad. The whole thing is just getting out of hand. You need to wake up and understand. We see all these headlines, see what's going on. Everybody coming out, all the athletes and singers and whoever else coming out of the closet, they say. Understand, this is a sign of the last days. If you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, or if you used to be saved, and now you're backslidden, you don't believe the truth of the Bible anymore. You believe the lie of once saved, always saved. The lie that teaches that once you get saved, you can never be separated from God. No one can snatch us from God's hands, but we're free to walk away. The Bible says at least 250 times that we have to repent of our sins after we're saved. If not, we won't step foot into heaven. And that's not Paul Kidd's words, it's God's word. And I've got all those scriptures on a word document. Message me, and I'll send it to you gladly. But if you're part of that group or have never been saved, pray with me now. So you can come to know Jesus as Lord and Savior or repent of your backslidden state. Be ready to go to heaven at all times. Let's pray. Jesus, I love you, and I thank you for your love and for your goodness and your mercy. I just pray that you would just help everyone in this boat to pray this prayer with me now. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again the third day. I'm back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. And since that time, you make making a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In Christ's name I ask it. Amen. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And when you get saved... Get you a King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. The way you feed your body 
with food and water every day. Reading this Bible will feed your spirit and soul daily if you read it. Pray to Jesus every day. He loves you. He can do best for him. He wants to talk to you every day. Get water baptized. Immersion baptized. Dunked under water as soon as possible. If you were sprinkle baptized in the past, it don't count, my friends. Do it over again the right way. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Sanctified. Filled from head to toe. What little time we have left before the imminent rapture. Take that King James Version Bible to church. When the pastor speaks, make sure what he says matches the Bible. If not, get up and walk out and find some else to worship. And make sure you repent. Repent, repent of all sins after you're saved. Where the Bible says at least turn 50 times to do. If anyone would like me to pray for you for anything, from terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I had the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it. Praise the Lord. When I prayed for it, he gave it to me. If you ask me to, I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. And I know that God will perform that miracle if it's in his holy will. And if he does, it's all through him. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in God's kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. Let's get out there and reap the harvest. Let's witness and pray every day, my friends. Time is short. The rapture is truly, truly imminent. Any second of any day, Christ is going to break the skies. No man knows the day and the hour, but God, but God told us. If we watch excitedly, waiting, watching, He let us know when the season is. I know where the season is. I believe in the last moments of the season. Have a blessed night. May God bless you. Thanks.